Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to lead, followed by Elliott Sadler and Michael Waltrip. How about this 29 car, Kevin Harvick, trying to go by Michael Waltrip on the outside. But he has no help. He has no help. <laughs> Here comes Mark Hart behind him in the sixth car. Maybe can get there. If that, that outside line can catch Harvick, looks like they're running pretty good. They may give Harvick quite a push. Whoa, Mark is coming fast on a 29 car. Here's where the bump draft will come into play and push the 29 car up. 88 of Dale Jarrett jumps out of line. You have to stay inside of that yellow line. That's the out-of-bounds line. You cannot go down below that line and pass. If you do, NASCAR could penalize you. And if you could, they would. Boy, look at that. That is a pack. Let's put you in the middle of that pack. How about that? This will look ugly. Ooh. Robbie Gordon, the singular car. Number 31 as he follows 41. Uh, oh, Casey Mears. And here's our singular race talk poll. Which driver has the best chance to win his first restrictor plate race today? Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, or Rusty Wallace? Now look at that 41 car there in front and the way that car is moving around. It's moving around a pretty high speed. And you feel that in these cars. I mean, these cars aren't stable whatsoever. Now here comes Robbie, bump trap, boom. Give him a good shot. Now you got to make sure you do that. You don't want to do that any later than he did it. Because if he were to do that any later, as he was turning into the corner, he would have turned that car sideways. Jimmy Johnson has the aspirations of leading this. Junior says, come on, stay behind me. And that's, that's why they use the mirror so much, to see when they're trying to pass so they can go over and make the block. Those cars aren't just fast, they're wide sometimes yeah. too, aren't they? More on the eight, back to Matt. Bill is early, but already the DEI guys are already getting together their game plan of when they're going to pit and who's all going to pit with them. Tony Urie Jr., the car chief for Dale Jr., was down in the one pit of Kenny Walls already coming up to their game plan of when and exactly what lap they're going to come in. And, and you know what? All these other guys got to have a game plan of keeping them separated. You know, the, the, when you start talking about a, a pit stop, some of these cars might be able to run, you know, 37, 38 laps. But if all the lead cars, how petty. Left, left rear, rear tire. Yeah, we're going to do four tires of fuel. Dave Burns, look at that left rear tire, guys. Does that look low to you? Yep. Yep. Flat. Uh, Kyle radioed in. He believed it was a rear tire. Didn't know which one, but he had to come on pit road all by himself. And, guys, this is what can really hurt you, having to leave all by yourself. No drafting. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going to go down a lap very easy and, and then like I say when you get back out there you've got nobody to draft with so you're going to be a lot slower than that pack right there on the slow draft now these <laughs> junior continues to lead elliot sadler is slipped back to seventh in this pack racing alongside the one car of kenny wallace elliot sadler would love to go to victory lane here but he knows this is a tough track to master Talladega is definitely the scariest race that we have in the final 10. Uh, that's when we highlight it. It's the wild card race because uh, you know as a team and as a race car driver, you can bring the best car you got. You can run a perfect race, but uh, it's hard to ask 43 guys to be perfect for three and a half hours side by side. You can just caught up in somebody, somebody else's stuff so easily. You have definitely a lot more to lose and more to gain at Talladega, so that's a race that I can't wait to be over with. I can't wait till Sunday night. Hopefully we've seen all 500 miles of that race. If we do that, we really think we've got a great shot of winning this championship. Elliott Sadler, sixth in the 10-man chase for the next Delcop. More on the 38 car for Marty. And somewhere in the middle of that gaggle, he kind of goes to the low to the racetrack. The man he's looking for to help him out is two cars behind him, Jeff Gordon. He said before the race, he talked to me, that by far the car we drafted with the best, the 24 car. If he can get in front of me, I know we can go to the front. And that's what some of these guys, you know, some are, when you're in a car, you'll follow somebody, and it'll be different with every other car. I mean, and you'll finally find a car that all of a sudden you run fast with. For some reason, that car in front of you breaks the air better, so these guys are looking for really good dancing partners. More on the race leader, here's Matt. Bill in final practice, that's exactly what Dale Earnhardt Jr. did. He had the 19 of Jeremy Mayfield, draft up behind him, also the 20 of Tony Stewart, worked with Jimmy Johnson, just trying to see if somebody else's car worked better with his and whose car didn't work well with his. Well, the eight car is working okay, and a little bit behind him. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> 
Arnold off the 48 car of Kimmy Johnson knew that Kurt Busch was up there, but that was close. Very, very close. And man, I've been in the wrecks when the leader wrecked. And about, I think, 26 cars ended up being in the wreck. And it went on for about 60 seconds. You weren't the leader, were you? I was fifth. Okay. But I was a wrecker. That 15 car is Michael Waltrip. The one car directly behind him is Kenny Wallace. They are teammates for this race out of DEI, of course, with the eight car of Dale Earnhardt Jr. There you see the 15, the blue car with the Napa on the hood. Right behind him, Kenny Wallace. About halfway through the first fuel run. All green here at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to lead. 